part eight is connecting your domain name to a folder. You want to go to the domains section in your one in one control panel. We're going to scroll down to edit domain settings or edit destination. In this page, we're going to um, keep the default radio selected as web space and we're going to choose the option to create a directory. I recommend where it says new node for you to type in the name of your website domain in all lowercase with no spaces or symbols. So in our case, thirdcoastdetailing.com, I would name this folder Third Coast Detailing. So um, if the domain name was Memphis Entrepreneur Club, I would name this folder Memphis Entrepreneur Club or Entrepreneur Club. So you want to click anywhere on the screen or, or hit enter on your keyboard. It says no, the directories created within the domain center cannot be deleted or renamed in the domain center. Are you sure you want to create directory? Click yes. So this means the directory is created. Now it should be highlighted blue as well, which means that the domain name um, is now linked to this directory once you hit save. So we click save, continue, yes. The settings have been successfully updated. You can close that light box and now um, you're ready to move to the next video. But before you do, just triple check that you have pointed this domain over to um, the directory that you created. And you'll see under web space or under the domain row, you should see web space colon forward slash the name of the folder that you just created. Also in the previous video, we set up our SSL certificate. So you should see a green lock icon next to your domain name, which means your SSL has been set up.